You may have seen the Timgo batteries servicing the internet, and there's good reason for that because they come in at a very budget-friendly price at $799. Now, this is a 48-volt, 100-amp-hour battery with monitor, with charger, with straps, everything you need to do a conversion to your golf cart. However, I wanted to test this battery in a situation if I wanted to use it for home backup. So I'm using this in a different scenario than just a golf cart battery. Before I start my discharge test, I do wanna talk about some limitations that these batteries might have on them. And that all is dictated from the BMS that is installed inside the battery. So this one has the capability of discharging at a continuous discharge of 200 amps. And it has a peak output of 600 amps. Now, I wanna talk about how I discharged it for my test. I started out at a little bit over a thousand watts. So we were discharging somewhere around 52 volts or 56 volts at around 20 amps. So now that we know that the battery has a BMS built into it and it's limited to 200 amps of current out, we're not gonna see any problem with this little test system that I've got built back here. So I have a solar charge controller at 60 amps. This is limited to 50 amps of charge coming in. So let's check out the test results. And we're looking for that number to be over 100 amp hours because that's the rating on the battery. Typically, we're gonna have a little bit over that. And in this uh, scenario, we come up with 103.47 amp hours out of the battery. So it definitely passed the capacity test. So let's talk about the different case scenarios I could see this battery being implemented in. Because it's marketed as a golf cart battery does not limit this battery to being used inside of a golf cart only. So you can put it in a golf cart, ATV, you can have it in a boat. This is IP65 rated. So I think for a budget battery, this could be a possible one to add to your watch list.